Ever wondered why virus detection and analysis is crucial in today's digital world? Well, let's dive into it. In our modern era, we heavily depend on digital systems, from our smartphones to our cars, even to our home appliances. But this increasing reliance has a flip side. It exposes us to potential risks and damages caused by computer viruses. Imagine you're working on a crucial project and suddenly your system crashes, losing everything. Or picture your personal information, like credit card numbers or passwords, being stolen and used maliciously. These scenarios are not just hypothetical. They happen every day, and computer viruses are often the culprits. Not only can these viruses cause significant personal and financial damages, but they can also have massive global implications, disrupting critical infrastructures and services. Therefore, understanding and mitigating these threats through virus detection and analysis is of utmost importance. Understanding the importance of virus detection and analysis is the first step towards a safer digital environment. Before we dive into virus detection and analysis, we need to understand what a computer virus is. A computer virus, in its simplest form, is a malicious software program designed to self-replicate and spread from host to host. It's like a biological virus, but for computers, it attaches itself to clean files and infects other clean files. These viruses can have numerous detrimental effects on a computer system. They can slow down your computer, delete your files, steal sensitive information, or even render your system completely unusable. This is why they're such a significant threat. They're not just a nuisance, they can lead to serious financial and personal losses. The severity of the threat they pose is what makes understanding and combating them so crucial. Now that we have a basic understanding of computer viruses, we can delve into the process of virus detection and analysis. Detecting a computer virus is the first step to neutralize its threat. There are several techniques cybersecurity professionals use to detect these virtual threats, each with its unique advantages and disadvantages. The first method is signature-based detection. This technique is akin to a most wanted list, where the antivirus software has a database of known virus signatures, unique identifiers or fingerprints of known viruses. When a file or program matches one of these signatures, it's flagged as a potential threat. However, the limitation here is that it can only detect viruses that are already known and cataloged. It's somewhat like trying to catch a criminal using an outdated mugshot. If the virus has evolved or is entirely new, then signature-based detection might miss it. Next up, we have heuristic-based detection. This method is a bit more proactive. Instead of looking for known virus signatures, it analyzes the code or behavior of a program to determine if it's suspicious. It's like a detective looking for criminal intent rather than a specific person. This allows it to detect new or modified viruses that signature-based detection might miss. However, it's not without its drawbacks. It can sometimes result in false positives, flagging benign programs as malicious due to their behavior or code structure. Lastly, we have behavior-based detection. This technique monitors the behavior of programs in real time. If a program starts behaving suspiciously, like trying to modify system files or sending data without user permission, it's flagged as a potential threat. This method is excellent for detecting zero-day threats, viruses that exploit unknown vulnerabilities. But similar to heuristic-based detection, it can sometimes result in false positives. In summary, while signature-based detection is like a vigilant guard checking everyone against a known list of threats, heuristic-based detection is the detective analyzing intent, and behavior-based detection is the spy observing actions in real time. These techniques form the backbone of most antivirus software and are crucial for detecting potential threats. Once a potential virus is detected, it's time for analysis. To delve deeper into the nature of the virus and its behavior, we use a variety of techniques, two of which are static analysis and dynamic analysis. Let's break down each one, shall we? Static analysis, as the name suggests, involves examining the virus without actually executing it. We're looking at the virus in its static state, like a scientist observing a specimen under a microscope. The goal here is to understand the structure and properties of the virus. This process involves a deep dive into the code of the virus, allowing us to dissect its functionalities and identify its potential effects. It's like solving a puzzle, 
except each piece you place gives you a clearer picture of the potential havoc the virus could wreak. Now let's move on to dynamic analysis. This is a more hands-on approach, where we let the virus loose in a controlled environment, much like observing a predator in a controlled habitat. By executing the virus and observing its behavior, we can understand how it interacts with its environment, how it modifies files, and how it communicates with remote servers, among other things. This method gives us a real-time view of the virus in action, allowing us to identify its behavioral patterns and potential attack vectors. Both static and dynamic analysis are essential tools in our virus analysis toolkit. While static analysis gives us a theoretical understanding of the virus's structure and potential capabilities, dynamic analysis provides practical insights into how the virus behaves in a live environment. Together, they allow us to unravel the mystery that is the virus, giving us invaluable information that we can use to develop effective countermeasures. These analysis techniques are not just about understanding the virus, they're about staying one step ahead of it. They're about taking the fight to the virus, rather than waiting for it to strike. Through these analysis techniques, we can gain a deep understanding of the virus and develop strategies to mitigate its effects. Let's summarize what we've learned about virus detection and analysis. We've understood that the realm of virus detection and analysis plays a crucial role in maintaining the security of our digital environments. It's not just about eliminating threats, but also about understanding them better. We've delved into the nature of computer viruses, those pesky pieces of code that can wreak havoc in our systems. They are not to be underestimated, as their complexity and diversity continue to grow. We've explored the different methods available for detecting these threats. From signature-based detection to behavior-based detection, each method has its strengths and limitations. Then we've looked at the techniques of virus analysis. We've seen how static and dynamic analysis can provide us with valuable insights about a virus's behavior and potential impact. With continuous advancements in virus detection and analysis, we can hope for a more secure digital future.